guy like Joe Decees, who has the ability to go over that 20, that 30 kill mark. He was like, yeah. what, 38 and 15 last time he played this map versus Minnesota? So you got to shut down that guy nice and early. Already Optic Texas finding good time off of that P1. They're able to flip those spawns. They just flawless. So disciplined with 35 seconds left. He actually decided to go for the rotation. LAG gets some awkward oh, spots. No. And Shotzi is making him pay for it. The number one hardpoint KD right now in Major 4 is off to a commanding start. One kill oh. away from the cruise. Nearly makes it six in a row. But he has been excellent throughout our first... It could also be a play where if you are the gorillas, you're trying to showcase the, um, the investment, the... Just the support that you have around your young SMG stars as well. Yeah, that's a big thing. You want to make sure you're playing to the best of your ability on your right next to each other every single time we watch these guys spawn in. That's just insane stuff. It's like a whole different hook is unlocked when he's playing with Shotzi. And he's been nothing but the best he could possibly be on this roster. And I forget who tweeted it out as another lovely three down happens for Texas. They are just rolling right now with 20 seconds left over at the horse statue. But there was a stat that was tweeted out about how like whenever Hook and Shotzi are playing together as a duo, I think there are a few franchises that have actually never chance, as we said, for Texas to really start to stretch their legs a bit here on Fortress. One player has made it toward the back. That's Joe Deceives. Dashi cuts away. Him also finds Assault at the same time. And from there, these last 25 seconds look very good to go the way of the green wall. LAG, a bit of a misstep last time around. We'll see if Fountain can go there. Check it out. I'm getting 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 out. I think. Okay, so I'm going to get I'm going to get out. 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 I just have to locate where the last two players from the Gorillas are. So RTD is just waiting for his teammates to find a couple so he can put them in that spawn trap. Yeah, we'll see if they can manage to do so. A nice nade from Exceed. Thankfully for Dashi, he is accompanied by a lovely little trophy. That will definitely make Exceed's life that much more difficult. No longer guaranteed a kill and does eventually get found out. So Gorilla's working from that top side lane, trying to bring all of those arrows now toward the bottom side into that A zone. RCD still alive, so this is going to continue to be a problem here for be it. This could be the moment. Shotzi, Ghosty, Dashi, everybody combined! Oh and my! And all four dead. A sliver away was LAG from calling round number one and getting the momentum fully at their side. But a bit of a distraction toward the bottom side. Meanwhile, for Texas, they made their way up toward the field, specifically the SMG duo, trying to cause some issues. Shotzi falls. Hook's still alive. Spawns over towards back cliff. Now with only 40 seconds left, Optic Texas have at least one or two more good pushes. Very opportunistic pushes at that. As we said for LAG, walking away with that opening round would be huge confidence for them if they could go up two to zero. And that is wonderful work coming in from both RSTs and Joe Deceives to find those kills. Just great teamwork all across the board. Go check your seconds. Nice check in there with Texas, 20 seconds to go. We hear the comms coming in from Ghosty and the crew trying to really weed out every single playmaker on the other side from LAG. Like we said, time continues to become a factor. Optic Texas coming off the of spawn, trying to lock things down here on defense. Keep this control of flowing Ooh. Dashi, nearly able to find three, but two members still alive from the Gorillas as Shotzi will spring into action. He's got to do some work. Well, Ghosty trying to get involved in the fight, as we said. Such a great communicator when it comes down to this team. He's actually been talked about maybe being the IGL for this team. And he says, no big deal. No problem. I'm happy to play my role and allow for my guys oh, around oh, me to slay. However, in a moment like that, you definitely need the slaying. Great work there from Arsys. A pro round is going to be yours. Gorillas have to turtle up. You have to iron up. Yeah, this is a massive, really massive team fight overall. Are Texas going to have to go back to their base or can LAG maintain things? I mean, if LAG drop right here, this could be game. Or this could be round, rather. Shotzi still alive. He is yet to die. He is yet to drop. Still afloat. Trying to cut away Exceed. Laying down some fire. But as long as he remains right here, it's going to have to force LAG to move on up. Time paused. One tick through. Finds that kill on to go see, but the trade is there for Shotzi. With Exceed in this position, just another layer that Optic now have to worry about. Oh, that is just a wonderful wall thing coming in from Exceed.
He's definitely built up a sweat, so obviously has to jump right in front of the fan. <laughs> Round five, maybe has only just begun. Now with the minute 15, you only need two segments over towards B to force this game number four. It's all about finding these kills towards the middle of the map because you don't have but he's able to win it so now you get you do have field control you all all you have to do is just win these gunfights towards the middle of the map but that's gonna be hook with the smg long this is does not matter he's able to cut down two picks up the ar finds a third he knows the final player is pushing up towards field and with only five seconds left optic texas looking like they're gonna three up oh and Wonderful work all game long from Optic Texas, but how about the style plays from the